Kenyatta, President Uhuru Kenyatta, was the only government official who addressed the nation in this year's Madaraka Day celebrations. In his speech, the head of state has dissected the achievements of his 10 year tenure out of the change of leadership guard in August. Our reporter Henry Tende uh, opens and he says that the scorecard, as he accepts corruption, is still a major headache for the government of the day and the coming administration. Today's Madaraka Day celebrations took a completely different outlook as President Huru Kenyatta was the only government official to address the nation, far from what has been the norm in previous celebrations, where he would invite his deputy William Ruto to also speak. In his speech that lasted 1 hour 15 minutes, President Uhuru laid bare the scorecard of his administration. The head of state saying his administration has strengthened the security sector with a huge chunk of his budget going towards the security docket. We have set a high bar for how and where government services should be provided. Never again will Kenyans accept that they must contend with long winding queues, pay the infamous and notorious facilitation fee to receive their rights or to travel long distances to the nearest major town to receive even the most basic of public services. His government has also overseen the introduction and implementation of the competency-based curriculum CBC, the head of state priding in his government's radical changes in the education sector, saying the new changes will have far-reaching benefits in overall quality of education. Huduma centers introduced by his government also being listed among his key achievements. We have distinguished ourselves as an investment destination of choice a regional and continental hub, and a leader on the African continent. With the mandate you gave me, fellow Kenyans, we also transform the way government services reach you. We did this through the introduction of Huduma Centers, an online platform such as eCitizen, to make access to public services a fast and pleasant experience, and not a toil that every citizen must endure so as to obtain basic services. On access to government services, the Commander-in-Chief says it is during his tenure that Kenyans have enjoyed major changes in land transactions through digitization of the land registry. It is in the life of this administration that a business can be registered online and a certificate issued on the same day together with the KRA PIN and other statutory registrations. We did it because we know that it is our duty to facilitate your enjoyment of your social economic rights without unnecessary and cumbersome barriers. In the past, all land matters in Kenya were handled using a manual registry, and this made the Ministry of Lands a total den of corruption. In fact, Part of the Wilson Airport runway to my left here had a title deed registered in the name of a private individual. But as part of the reforms in the land registry, the process of stumping out fake title deeds and reversing this fraud has been accelerated. It took previously a minimum of six months to do a single land transaction. This has now been reduced to 48 hours using a system called Adi Sasa. And similarly, instead of taking one to three months to do a land search, this system will give you a land search result in three to five minutes. Henry Tende, Lookup TV.